We don't have an easy faith. We know that many Christians around the world suffer every day because of their faith. And us too in North America and Europe, even though we don't suffer in the same way, we are not persecuted physically or threatened by physical violence, uh, not usually, we understand that in some way our faith makes us outsiders to what is now the mainstream culture. And we might wonder, why is it that we suffer in such a way? Why is it that our faith makes life so difficult? Is it just because God wants to test us somehow? Is it just because God wants to find a way for us to prove that we are faithful? To find a way for us to prove that we are doing the right thing and that we are steadfast in the faith? Well, I think there's more to it than that. As we hear in our Gospel today, Jesus talks about the persecutions that are to come for his faithful that the apostles themselves will face. He says when persecutions arise, know that it will give you an opportunity to witness to the faith, an opportunity to be a testimony to the faith. That means that this trial that we undergo as Christians is not random, nor is it just a test of our faith. It is a way in which we can show others around us, those who do not believe, those who have no desire to believe, we can show them what it is that Christ brings into our life. Why is it, they might wonder, that someone who is so simple, someone who is so ordinary, can have such great courage in the face of trial? And that witness becomes attractive. There are many people who long every day to have something worth living for. And when they see that there are people who are willing to die for their faith, they understand that the faith is also worth living for and they in turn will be drawn in. So as we suffer our persecutions, and as we pray for those of our brethren who are persecuted elsewhere in the world, let us know that our faith is not in vain. Our faith in the example that we show serves to draw others closer to Christ. Jesus says, Do not prepare in advance what you will say. The Holy Spirit will speak through you. He will give you the words. So in some sense we are guaranteed through our faith to know exactly what it is we need to say so that those around us who hear may be able to witness the truth and be able to receive it. It will be like the martyrdom of Saint Stephen, who as he dies, cries out for God's mercy upon those who are killing him. But then one young man, Saul, who is standing in the crowd, hears these words, becomes enraged, but later, becomes on fire with the Spirit as he is struck down by Christ himself, and he becomes one of the greatest messengers, one of the greatest evangelists in the world. So it is that we too are called to be a witness in our small way, because who knows, by being a small witness, we might actually stir up the fire of God's love in the heart of another who might today hate God, but tomorrow might become one of the greatest evangelizers. Let us then be steadfast in the faith, no matter how hard it is. Let us know that God's plan is to use us in such a way that his word will spread throughout the world and that we too may become sharers in his glory.